I love some music, y'all. Yes, I do. I love listening to it. I love making music. And I love talking about music, okay? But today I want to talk to y'all about that good old country music. Any country music lovers in the house? Yes, y'all, it is everywhere right now, isn't it? I feel like country music is everywhere. I don't think we could walk a block without seeing a, like a, a cowboy hat at this point. Do y'all got a cowboy hat yet? Look at this. Of course, we, I mean, I think Beyonce Cowboy Carter album has something to do with that. I mean, she got these, look at this. Isn't it fabulous? Get it, Beyonce. Gotta pull out my cowboy hat. She got me riding horses and everything. <laughs> Listen, there are so many amazing artists doing exciting things in the genre of country music right now. I like to call this game, Oh Baby! <laughs> some fun with this, guys. Okay, so I'm going to show you a baby picture of a famous country artist, and we'll see if we can figure out who it is. Can y'all handle that? Yeah. If we get stuck, I got a couple of hints, but I'm telling you, I have no idea, so y'all got to help me out, and I know you can do it. Okay, so y'all ready? Here we go. Here's our first famous country star. Aww. Any guesses? What y'all got? You think it's Beyonce? It's not Beyonce. Okay. Anybody? Okay. This four-time Grammy Award winner has given us hits songs, Better Than You Left Me and Black Like Me. Did somebody? Mickey Guyton? Is that what I hear over there? Somebody said Mickey Guyton. Is that right? Let's, let's see who it is. You're right! You are right, Mickey Guyton! Okay, I love her. She came to the show last season. I want her to come back to the show this season. I love Mickey. You are amazing. We got to sing together and everything. She's awesome. So, girl, come on here back over here to the happy place, okay? And look me right on the side of my head. Okay, so let's see another baby. Ooh. Ooh, any guesses? What you say? Who said that? Did you say Willie Nelson? Yeah. Oh, y'all good. I think that's, I think that's who it is, is it? Okay, let's see. You got it right away. Oh my God, it's Willie Nelson, y'all. He is 91 years young and is still making incredible music to this day. Okay. Y'all are really, really good and really quick, too. Okay, we got time for one more baby. And this time, I'm going to give you the hint before I show you the picture. Y'all ready? This last baby is not only a 10-time Grammy Award winner and a multi-platinum selling artist. He's also my first guest. Let's see him. excited when we see Chris Stapleton. Thank you so much for being here. Are you kidding me? I, I am so happy to be here. I love you so much, and, I, you. and I love to be around you anytime I can. I appreciate it. Speaking of that, I don't, is this the first time we met? Because we performed together at the CMA Awards in 2021. I think that was the first time we'd met anywhere. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Could you imagine having to sing on the stage with Chris Stapleton, and this is the first time meeting him? Y'all, I got to perform with this man. He is like one of the greatest vocalists who ever walked the planet of the earth. It's a little embarrassing for you to say that, but I thank you. I know that you, I mean, this is one of the greatest vocalists in oh the my God. entire universe. You know, like. <laughs> thank you for that. It's, thank you. It's, uh, yeah. 
In fact, I get a little nervous just being around you because I think you're so, so great. Wow. I, I well, do. good. The feeling is mutual because yeah. I'd be like, Lord, that's Chris Stapleton singing. I'd be wanting to throw my shoe and, and knock you out the head. But you got to take it as a compliment, see, because Chris, I too, like you, started out singing in church. And you know, like sometimes they'll hop up and holler at you. And then me, sometimes I can't help it. My spirit just want to throw the shoe. And it's a compliment, Chris. To throw the shoe. <laughs> yes, yeah. it hits well, my spirit. I didn't go to a shoe throwing church. So. <laughs> you didn't? No. And then last month, you did SNL did. with Ryan Gosling. What was that like? That, that was a trip. Um, it was, thank you. They scream for everything you do. They we scream do. for everything we do? OK. <laughs> You. Well, we, have, we just have, have that kind of audience tonight. Then. Yes. Uh, well, yeah, it was great. I mean, uh, that was the first time they ever uh, kind of talked me into being in a skit, which was some, a new they thing. They talked you into it? Well, I raised my hand. I said, hey, if you want me to do something silly, I'll do it. Because <laughs> I like stuff like that. Um, it, it generally is uh, maybe not a comfortable place for me, but I think it's fun. Yeah. I think it's funny to play with those kind of things. And uh, I, don't, I don't fancy myself an actor or anything, mm. you know. Do you but, think you will ever act? <laughs> I think doing a skit on SNL is about as far that's as it's going to go. That's as far as it's going to go. Y'all heard you, him say it. And if you watch me do the skit on SNL, you'll know why that's as far as it's going to go. But, <laughs> but that's, <laughs> but that's uh, yeah, and we did that, and we played on there, and, and I always, that's, that was our third time doing that show, um, and I always have a great time doing that show. That's, wow. Um, I like to laugh, so I'd like yeah. to see it. And Ryan Gosling was <laughs> incredible. Had y'all met before? Me and Ryan Gosling? Yeah. No, that was the first time we'd met uh, doing that show together. Wow. Do you think you will ever host SNL? <laughs> it's a question. <laughs> well, I, I would certainly have to consider it because what an honor. But uh, after seeing, I mean, how tired, you know, Ryan's in pretty good shape. And to seeing how tired he was doing it, I don't know if I could do both, you know, sing and, and do the whole thing. But it, it, you know, certainly I would consider it. We think you can, right? Yeah. We want to encourage you over here. Okay, well, you're cleaning up in music. You stay cleaning up in music. So the Academy of Country Music Awards is in a couple of days. And you got five nominations. Like... That sounds correct. See, see, okay, let me tell, let me tell you this about me, Chris. See, I, well, you believe it or not, talking was my biggest fear. Did you, look, y'all probably don't believe it at this point. So I used to get nervous, not about winning or losing an award, but giving the acceptance speech. How do you feel about, like, the award part of, the awards, and then, you know, the red carpets? I don't go to the red carpets a lot. I, I kind of go take the picture and kind of hang out at the stay out of the interview kind of stuff and all that kind of stuff. I don't like to talk. I, I'm a musician. I feel, I'm, I'm sitting here talking once again. But, <laughs> um, yeah, it's not comfortable for me, but I, I do enjoy, um, you know, going and seeing the, the other performances and, mm -hmm. and, and getting to, you know, do, one, I, do things with folks just like you and, and just performing. And, and those are the moments when those things get to happen for yeah. me. And that's what I like about those shows is, is getting to do things that, maybe I hadn't gotten to do before. I totally understand that, and we love watching you do it, that's for sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Chris, you have so many awards, I had to have a cue card to tell you all about yourself. Okay, <laughs> so you have 10 Grammy Awards, 16 CMA Awards, five Billboard Music Awards, 11 ACM Awards, like... <laughs> A lot. Can I ask you, where do you keep all your awards at? Well, we have an office and we keep them around at the office, but uh, a lot of times I take them out on the road for people to see because I feel like they belong to fans That's a cool. lot. And we have like a VIP section that, um, you know, if you buy that ticket, you can see all, all the awards and things like that. I love that. Yeah, I feel like they're for the people. That's who they belong to. That is amazing. I'm going to have to take that. Yeah. That is awesome. Chris Stapleton, we will be right back. We're back with one of my absolute favorites, Chris Stapleton. Chris, you got to tell me about this new album, Higher. What was the writing process like for well, it? Well, there's a lot of songs on here that have been around for a long time, like mm -hmm. uh, Higher, the title track is uh, probably wrote in 2001 when I moved to town mm -hmm. in Nashville. And uh, so it's 23 years old at this point. Wow. And, um, but the, you know, there's songs that I wrote in the last, you know, year and a half too. So, um, it's it's a it's an interesting record for me. I think there's a lot of things that kind of push the boundaries of what people 
think that we do, mm -hmm. which is nice for me. Um, I enjoy that, but um, I don't know, yeah. Man, it's amazing. I'll be wondering where all of that soul comes from. You're so soulful. Thank you. It's, ain't it, y'all? <laughs> My goodness, I'm getting chills just thinking about it. And your wife, how influential is she with your album? Extremely process? influential. I mean, she's producing on this record, and, um, but. Uh, Go more again. And, uh, yeah, she, I mean, she's, she's, my, she's my barometer for most things, you know, like, uh, particularly songs, though. Like, there's a lot of songs that, on this record that we've been trying to cut for five records, you know, yeah. so uh, that haven't made it, haven't made it, haven't made it, and then they made it. And so this song has several of those that where uh, we got the one, we hooked it, you know. That, yeah. I know you know how that is. You get in the studio and you're like, I really like this song, yeah. but I didn't get the one I wanted. But you know yeah. the right time for it, and... Because you know what a hit is, honey. You don't miss. I don't know about that. I don't listen. When you a fan, you be like, you don't miss. How did you and your wife meet? How did we meet? We, uh, we were songwriters at neighboring publishing companies. And the publishing company, she wrote for EMI in Nashville. And I wrote for a company called CEO Music, which was an EMI co-venture. But we shared a writer building. So we would just pass each other in the halls. And that, it, that was one of the way that that worked. Mm. Man, music is in the blood of, the, of the, the union. It has to be. Do y'all bust out in song? Like, how y'all communicate? Y'all start singing or something? <laughs> like, I work. It's usually which one of us is going to pick up which kid. You know, we have, <laughs> have five children. So it's just like, uh, yeah, no, we don't bust out in song at the house too much. But, uh, yeah, we, we have good communication, so that's good. Speaking of your kids, do they know that they have two famous parents? <laughs> I think it's probably normal mm -hmm. to them. Like, they don't think of, of what my, I do as, this is my job mm -hmm. to them, so they, it doesn't register necessarily. My older children kind of have a notion of it a little bit that I have an unusual job, but <laughs> the little guys, you know, they just want to want me to build Legos with them or something. <laughs> that, that sounds like it's just a beautiful home, beautiful family, beautiful kids and upbringing. That is amazing. Now, I got to ask you this. Like, so can you like go out or people go crazy or can you slip under the radar like from people. I'm fairly under the radar. I mean, if I don't wear all this. He's so modest. Um, well, you know, if I don't wear all the crazy hat and everything, you know, put a ball cap on, I'm okay most of the time. You okay? Yeah. I don't know, Chris, if I saw, right, I'm like, I don't know. If I saw you, I'm like, that's Chris David. Well, you know, the other part is I look kind of mean. So, you think so? Yeah. Does he look mean, y'all? Well, I don't look friendly. How about that? <laughs> and, and so people might see me and they're like, I think that's him. <laughs> But it might not be. He might stab me or something. So, I, you know, I, people, I get a lot of like, is that him? Like, yeah. Looks, but not as much. Uh, but people are generally, generally nice when they do walk up and say things. I, I've never had a, like a bad incident of any kind. You know? Okay. So no one gets you mixed up in, with anybody because people think I'm either Coco Jones or Megan The Stallion. And I'm never Jennifer Hudson. <laughs> Does that ever happen to you where people think you're someone else? Uh, they, I get Jamie Johnson a lot. Uh, we, <laughs> he and I used to joke with each other like, hey, did anybody think that you were me today? You know? <laughs> Anytime we see each other, but it, it's happened to me a bunch, and and you know, in Nashville in particular, people that are are fans of his, um, that are also fans of mine, they'll. I've had people have whole conversations. One time at the Grammys, uh -huh. I, the first time I ever went to the Grammys, I was in the line, and I was in a band called the Steel Drivers. You know, you're in the line to get in. You know what I'm saying? There's a line to get in. Doesn't matter who you are. <laughs> there's, for those, you know, there's a line to get in. You're walking into the building. You know, the herd is in there, and. And some guy just starts losing his mind. He's like, man, I love your music so much. And I was, I was in a band called the Steel Drivers at the time. It was the first time we'd ever been nominated for anything. It was a bluegrass band. Nobody knew who we were at the, at the moment. And he just kept going on. And I was like, man, you don't even know who I am, do you? And he's like, he's like yeah, you're in Leonard Skinner, aren't you? <laughs> and, I, and I'm like, I'm like, no. No, it's not me, but thank you. I, I, I went on. Sometimes you gotta do that. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Now tell us about this tour, All American Road Show. Huh? Oh my God. Yes. We're out playing all over the country. We're gonna be uh, in Europe later in the year, and and just you know uh, having a good time, playing some, uh, plugging in, playing some songs. You know. Wow. I wanna hear those songs. Woo child, we gotta get to that.
Throughout the season, our next guest has given us tips for dinner parties. And who could forget our lesson with Snoop Dogg, baby? That was one to remember. Please welcome back to the show etiquette expert to the stars, Micah Meyer. It is so good to see you. Okay, so I learned a lot from you already. Now we want to learn a little bit more, don't we, guys? <laughs> All right. Now, I heard some of your videos have reached over 25 million views. Yeah. You know, it's, and, and it's funny because the videos that, that do that, it's about the, ba the most basic things, like soup or chicken wings mm. or a hamburger. So always, but it's, it's just common foods. People just don't, they're just curious. So, but you know, my question for you is, how is Camp David? Are they practicing their etiquette? Well, you know, it's a work in progress. <laughs> That's why we had to call you back, you know? And you know, we're about to go into the social season. Uh -huh. So think about summer. We've got barbecues, we've got weddings, we've got parties, right. right? There's so much to do. So I've got you covered today. Okay, okay. Okay, so is there a trick for when I'm getting in and out of the car? Do you have Ooh. anything for that? Okay, so this is fun. This is good. All right. So especially with you, Jennifer, because I feel like getting in and out of a car, there's a lot of paparazzi. It is. They want that money shot. Yes. I mean, it's, it's a horrible thing, but they do. And especially if you have a dress or skirt on, you want to protect your modesty. Mm -hmm. So you can do this. I call it the swivel and pop. It's like the bend and snap, like Reese Witherspoon. <laughs> so you, you kind of scoot your bum to the end of the chair. And then, when the door opens, you keep your knees and your ankles together, the door opens, you swivel out, and you pop mm. up. So you are never oh, doing the woo. Okay. Right? So you're swiveling, swivel and pop. Bend and Swivel snap. and pop, ladies. Woo. Yes. Do we give a little kick, too? I mean, you could. That was an add-on. Oh, okay. I like that. That was an add-on. But I, okay. It's, it's a, you know, once you know that trick, you won't forget it. And, and then you're never going to give them that money shot. That's right. All right. It sounds a whole lot of money. Y'all can't afford it. All right. <laughs> OK, so we're going to go over a couple of things. OK. Think about it. We are at an event, right? Yes. And I know that you're a big clutch person, right? Yeah. Right? OK. So one thing to do. So imagine when you first come into that party, you hold the clutch in the left hand. The left so that hand. your right hand is free to shake. And the other thing, we want to avoid putting under the pit of our arm. Oh, where's it supposed to go? Because, I know. Just to the side, just nicely like that. Okay. That way you don't have that armpit, like the deodorant going on, mm -hmm. all of that. Be careful. <laughs> Happens to the best of us. Oh, that would be terrible. Could you imagine? <laughs> I mean, especially with a black clutch, you yes. know? And then if you have, let's say, this could be water, orange juice, whatever it is. And so if you're talking to somebody and suddenly you need to get rid of this because you have to shake hands, I want you to use this little hack. Put it on your clutch. Lovely to meet you. Oh. And then you come back like that. So it's oh, like Oh, that was fancy. Woo. I like that. Little hack. This is one. See, this is why I stay in the house with a cat. What about <laughs> close talkers? I want to actually come over here. I'm going to teach get you up? something. Okay. I'm going to teach yes. you Swivel a little it. trick. OK. OK. So this trick is, imagine so that we're at a party, right? Yes. And let's say somebody's really in your space. Mm -hmm. Instead of doing this, I was like, you know, or just... walking backwards, okay. which you don't want to do, I want you to plant your toes, and then keep your left planted, and move your right back, holding your hands in front of you. Oh. So you're creating a box in front of yourself. So I call it the salsa move, because unless somebody does like a salsa into you, uh -huh. which I hope they're not going to do, you're giving yourself that space. So exactly. Oh so if I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do this to you. Woo! <laughs> well, hopefully. Okay. So that's that's your box. That's like your protective space. I like that. What is, what what is some tips for when you walk in in heels at events? Because my feet get tired quick. And, I hear you. Yeah, and then I hear these you. men want to drag you around. It's like walk like you got on the hill too. Come on here. Okay. So you got any tips for that? Okay. So with heels, and and you're a pro, but if you're at home, you're starting out, you don't know what to do. So when we have flat flat shoes on. It's okay to walk hip width apart like this. But the moment you add on a heel, you walk slightly one in front of the other. Okay. You want to give it a shot? Yes. Am I watching you first? Or we're going to do it together. Like, okay. Because you're a pro. You're a pro. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to make this our runway. Okay. Ready? Okay. So let's just okay. walk, walk back here. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then straight on, we're going to try we our, our, we got our heels. We're going to go straight on, just slightly one in front of the other. Ready? Okay. And three, two, one, and go. So just slightly, and a little, a little tiny. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
Did I get it? <laughs> I like this. We want to keep this going. <laughs> okay, so you asked about my nephews. I have one of them here today. So when we come back, we're going to put my nephew to the test. We'll be right back. I'm going to work on my walk. We're back with etiquette expert Micah Meyer, and I want to bring out one of my nephews, Marion. Marion, come on over. <laughs> It's so nice to you. Oh, it looks stronger. Oh, there we go. There we go. I feel like I should there stand, too. I feel like that would be appropriate. Is that right? Yes, They're all yes, standing. perfect. And you know what? We're going to go to lunch today. Okay. So we're going to test out a little bit of etiquette at the table and go into a restaurant. And the first thing we're going to do, we've got some steps over here. So challenge yeah. number one. Okay. Okay. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, 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 yes, yes, okay, yes. I mean. Thank you. That was that was a ten out of ten. He okay. went for me, and I was not even expecting that. Wow! I mean, Good amazing. Job. Now, yeah. Oh yes, please. Uh oh, he went and looked it up. Chai, that's something. Is this what you want? Oh my goodness. Uh, you, but you Marion, know, I still got my coat so on, baby. Kind. I still Thank got my coat. Very <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, okay. Oh, that, oh, not. that was a ten out of ten. Okay. But, but we do need you. to take off our coat. Thank you so Let's much. See. Oh. Well, all right. right. I mean, he doesn't need etiquette classes. This is Go amazing. Ahead. Okay, uh, so what would you do with this? He's making sure the inside lining of the coat okay. doesn't show, folding over his arm. I mean, you are a perfect gentleman. This is incredible. Thank you, thank you. Thank and then, if there's an extra chair, if there's not a place to check the coat, you can leave it in the extra chair, and that's a perfect place to do it. So let's go ahead and we'll use that okay. for our this. coat. And then, okay, yes, perfect. Amazing. And he, oh, this is amazing. God. Okay. So, now, one thing to note is that we carry cell phones, we carry all of these things with us. We never put anything on the table that's not a part of the table. So, no cell phones, no sunglasses, no wallet. So, we've already gotten 10 out of 10 points today. This is amazing. We've got some soup. What else do we have here? Let's see. Oh, a little messy. Let's see what else we have. Go ahead. Uh oh, oh, that's your favorite right there. Yes, it is. Eating yes, a burger. It's <laughs> in fries. Okay. okay. Here, I can take that for you. Thank you. Okay, perfect. All right, so what do you think you should do with this burger? How would you tackle this burger? What are we thinking? You looking at it like you were. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Uh, pick it up and eat it. <laughs> it's one way. So the correct way to eat a hamburger is actually to cut it in half. Wow. To do a halfer. <laughs> yeah, to do a halfer because putting the whole thing up to your mouth can be a little bit, a little bit aggressive. So let me get to cutting it right now. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Mecca, what if I have my, my purse and it's, it's like really big? Okay, so if you have a really big bag, you can use that third chair if you have one. If you don't, I want you to remember, you can do a couple things. If you can, you can put it behind your back. Oh, wow. This is my purse. Oh, wow. <laughs> Do I hand it to you? Okay. I would put it, put it over the table. Yeah. Right. You just yes, put that's... it over there. Back. I would put okay. it right on that chair. Yes, ma'am. And that is the perfect place for the, it needs its own chair. <laughs> it deserves its own chair. Yeah. Okay, let's try soup. Let's try soup now. All right, I'm going to take, you can have this later, I promise. I'm going to take this away. <laughs> this looks really good. That's his favorite. All right, let's go ahead and put this soup in front of you. Okay. And let's go ahead and try eating soup. How do you, how would you go ahead and tackle that? What do you think? Um... I know you don't pick it up, but with, with the spoon? Go ahead, yep, perfect spoon. Pick up that spoon. And how do you eat soup? <laughs> Did you want some bread? Okay. You need a little bread? Yeah, I need a little he bread. He need a little bread. Oh, he's gonna need a little bread. Woo. All right, do we think it's okay, okay to dunk the bread in the soup? No, no, no. no. <laughs> No. Okay, Chris, so only in Italy and France is it okay, actually, in formal etiquette to dunk bread in soup. So in this case, we would take the soup spoon, and soup is the only food we eat by scooping away from us. So go ahead and let me just adjust this like that, like that. So hold the spoon just, sorry, just like that. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then scoop it away from you, and then up oh. to your, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tasting this. Perfect. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. Can we do a little dessert now? Yes, yes. Let's a do a little dessert. dessert. Okay. Yes. A little dessert. Let's do a little dessert, guys. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, mm. what do we have so here? Fancy. Oh, a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you looking like that? Let's just move your brain. All right. Y'all not gonna. So, eat if there is bread. one cookie for dessert, here is the challenge: Who gets the cookie? She gets the uh, cookie. She gets the cookie. The VIP Tell guest. The VIP guest. So, in this okay. case. It's, it's not necessarily about gender, it's more just who is the VIP in the situation. In this case, it's she Jennifer. Yeah. yeah, and so you yeah. would offer her the cookie first. And if she doesn't like want it, then it's yours. But you have to offer it first. Would you like the cookie? You can have it. No, no, I insist. You, you insist? I insist. <laughs> okay. I insist. <laughs> well, will you share with me? Yes, I, I would share Okay, yeah. so how do we go about sharing it? So then I would just cut it in half, use a knife, just cut it on in half. Because, and you, then you would take the part that you touched. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so what, you get that side. Yes. Perfect, the and then side. Jennifer would and take the I'll other take side. This side. And then you can go ahead and enjoy your food. I, I can just eat it, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my God. Okay, he might have lost a half a plate for that. <laughs> no, aw. This is, aw, uh, aw. Oh. Yeah, that was for you guys. Oh, my oh. goodness. Take the napkin off. Bless your heart. There you go. Thank mm. you so, so much. Thank you, Maria. <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you so much. They did a wonderful job. I am proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm proud of my boys. Oh my God. Okay, Micah offers online courses, so go check out her website for more info. We'll be right back. We just celebrated Mother's Day. We just celebrated Mother's Day, and I am not done yet loving on the mamas. No, I'm not. It is time for a segment that we call Who Run the World? Hey, hey. There's an amazing woman in my audience I love to shout out. Take a look at her clip. Hey, Jennifer. I would love to shout out my amazing sister, Connie. She is an inspiration to me. She has two incredible daughters named Avery and Alea. Avery is currently three and a half years old and she has a very rare and terminal neurodegenerative disorder called Beachy Syndrome, while Alea is five months old and she also has some brain abnormalities. Connie fights every single day to give my nieces the life that they deserve by advocating for their medical needs and inclusiveness. Avery is absolutely nothing compared to what the doctors expected of her. She's more and she's defied all odds, and I believe that Alea will also do the same because of the warrior that my sister is. I am so proud of her, and I can only hope to one day be the type of mother that she is. I love her so much. I don't know how she does it, I don't know how she handles it, but she does. Love, Polly. Hey babe, the kids and I just want to tell you we love you, and we appreciate your hard work day in and day out. Hey sister, you're an incredible mom. Avery and Alea are at their best because of you. And I just want to let you know that I love you so much. Hi, Connie. I know that you're working very hard to take care of Avery and Alea. And I'm really proud of you as a mom and I love you so much. Connie, you're an inspiration to all mothers out there. We love you. And thank you for inspiring me to be a better mom. Connie, you are such an incredible mother. We are in total all of you. We love, love you, Connie. Connie. How are you feeling, Connie? Overwhelmed. It's wow. been a lot. It's been a long journey. It's a and it's just been hard. But thank you. I needed that. It's been really hard these past few days. Wow. Thank you, sister. <laughs> thank you for your strength. You are such a beautiful family. Polly, that was such a sweet video. Why did you want to nominate Connie? Because she's my sister, and she's someone that I've always looked up to. She's, she's the mom that I want to be. Um, I don't have any kids of my own, but if you were to ever meet my nieces, you would know that she was just, she's incredible. Thank y'all for sharing such a beautiful moment with us. You have such a special, beautiful relationship. Connie, what do your sisters mean to you? Everything, you know, they've helped me through this whole process when I learned about my daughter's diagnosis, when I need help, when I'm trying to navigate just, you know, our day to day, it's busy. On a weekly basis, we have 11 weekly appointments for therapy between both babies. Um, it's just a lot. She has nine specialists at CHLA. My husband had to quit his job full time to take care of her. It's just been rough, so we need to, you know, they're my support system. I wouldn't be able to do any of this and provide the love and care that my daughter needs without them. 
You inspire all of us, so thank you for being the mom that you are. Now, I know you couldn't be here for our Mother's Day show, so we love to send you home with all of the gifts and a few extra other gifts and goodies from that day, from that show. So this is for you. Enjoy. Here you go. <laughs> Keep doing you, Connie. Aliyah and Polly and Connie, stay beautiful, ladies. If you want to nominate an amazing woman in your life, go to JenniferHudsonShow.com, who run the world. Girls, we'll be right back. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.